testing flash memory for its genuine storage capacity. Due to manufacturing defects, or if the product is counterfeit, we don't get the storage capacity that it claims. It may happen that a 32GB flash memory has an actual storage capacity of just 8GB, or it may have no storage capacity at all. To test our flash memory drive, for such problems, we can perform the H2 test, W test. H2 test, W is a tool for testing storage media for the genuinity of its space claims. We can download the H2 test, W files from the internet. The link is also given in the description. Once it is downloaded, connect your flash memory drive to your Windows system. Then open the downloaded H2 test W files and double click the H2 test W.exe file. Here, we select English as our language. Click on the select target button and select your flash drive. Click all available space to test the complete drive. Then click write plus verify to begin the testing. This process will take quite a while depending on your flash memory's capacity. So please be patient. The tool will first write self-generated H2W files of size 1 GB each to the drive. For our 32 GB flash memory, there will be around 30 such files. If the writing process goes well, then this will complete the write test for the drive, otherwise, the tool will raise a write error. After the write test is completed successfully, the verification process starts. The tool will read those H2W files and look for any corrupt data while reading. If there are no errors, the test will pass. Otherwise, the tool will raise errors. Here. In this example, our 32GB pen drive has only 7.4GB OK, and the rest is corrupted. It was a fake flash memory. Once the tests are completed, we can delete the H2W files from the flash memory drive. If we are using our flash drive for the first time, then we can format the drive by right-clicking on the drive and selecting Format. Select the appropriate file system and checkmark the Quick Format option. Then click Start. This will format your drive and delete all its contents. To disconnect your flash drive, always eject it first and then disconnect it from your computer. This is how we can test if the drive genuinely offers the storage capacity that it claims to offer. Thanks for your time and patience. Have a nice day.